Deconstructing my laser was a rather crude operation, and it no longer works. But I was able to salvage something pretty cool from the wreck. And here it is. A laser focusing lens. It might not look like much, but we can use this to manipulate light to achieve some pretty cool effects. For instance, we can see that when we hold the lens close to an object, it can act as a magnifying glass. But as we move it further and further from the page, something odd starts to happen. First off, it's suddenly no longer a magnifying lens. And secondly, in the image on the lens, the light has changed side. Now if we take this blue marble image on my screen, and I place the lens in front of it, we can see the image is in fact much smaller than the actual object, which lends itself to some pretty interesting photography. Right, let's find out what's going on here. First, we'll start with the general case, and then we'll apply it to our specific case afterwards. The shape of the lens is a biconvex lens, and a biconvex lens is a converging lens, which means parallel rays shined onto the lens will cross at a certain point on the other side, known as the focal point. Now, to calculate how an object appears through a lens, we use something called a ray diagram. And there are a few simple rules in drawing a ray diagram. You start by drawing the lens and the focal points in front of and behind the lens. Then, you draw the object, usually represented as an arrow. Any lines that travel through the center of the lens do not change direction. However, any arrows that enter the lens parallel to the ground pass through the focal point on the other side of the lens. When two lines that originated from the same point on the left of the lens meet on the right of the lens, you can use this point to draw in the image of the object, which is how the object appears through the lens. There is also a third type of line you can add, and that is any line that passes through the focal point on the left side of the lens, then travels parallel to the ground on the right side of the lens. We will now calculate the image in four different scenarios. First, when the object is much closer to the lens than the focal point. Start by drawing two lines, both from the same point on the object, however using the first two rules we spoke about before. You'll see, however, on the right hand side, they diverge from each other. So now we extend these diverged lines back onto the left side of the lens, and then we find where they meet up, and then we can draw in the image. As you can see, the image is magnified several times at this distance. But because we've had to do it this way, this is a virtual image rather than a real image, which means you cannot use this to project onto a screen. Now we repeat, but this time with the object at the focal point. Notice that the lines that come out are parallel, which means that on neither side of the lens will they converge to a single point. At this point, the image is magnified and unfocusable. Now when the object is between one and two focal distances away, we find that something strange happens. The image is still magnified, but now it is inverted. Now in our final scenario, we move it more than two focal distances away, and we find that the image remains inverted, but is now smaller than the initial object. So how do we see the image? First remember that your eye is in fact a lens, which projects light onto the retina, which is sent to the brain. So we set up our ray diagram and we draw it through. And then we see the image projected onto the back of the retina. But remember, the image on the retina is then flipped around by the brain to make it the right way around. Or in the case of our lens, the wrong way around. Now let's compare these stages to the demonstrations I did earlier. We start close up with the magnification stage. Then the distance is equal to the focal length and there is no focus on the image. And just after that, the image is inverted and still magnified. And finally, we have the stage where the image is smaller than the object and still inverted.